sick. Hey, brother. Okay, Ben, first things first. Lunch? is awesome. It's one of my great weaknesses. I'll almost always agree to go get lunch with somebody. I mean, does, does anyone want to get lunch? I can probably free up my account. Ah, lunch. It's almost as good as breakfast. So last week, an old friend of mine from high school and college hits me up and just asks if I want to get some lunch next week, which is actually this week. Now, we only really keep in touch occasionally via Facebook and stuff, so when I got this invitation, I was kind of flattered. I mean, it was sort of out of the blue. Unless, of course, he's heard about my skills as a narwhal detective and wanted to see what I knew. Maybe he's one of the conspirators. Probably not, though. More likely, he was just coming in town to visit some family, and the randomness of the inquiry points to him having wanted to catch up for a while about something and just wanted to make sure it was gonna happen. By the way, how great of a comic would narwhal detective be? If anyone out there could draw me as a narwhal detective, I feel like that needs to be back there. Because I mean, when you're an adult and you're coming home to visit, you really only have a limited number of lunches to spend with anybody, and more likely than not, you're going to spend them with family or close friends, so I was a little honored to have one of those spots. So we went back and forth and eventually ended on Tuesday, which is today, at 12.30. So this morning I get to work and I text him and say, hey buddy, where are we getting lunch today? And he responds, I live in South Florida. Did you think I was in Virginia? To which I responded, I... Well, uh... Huh? Huh? And so immediately my mind just goes into like overdrive confusion mode trying to serve up some kind of explanation for this. Okay, let's see, I was just in Florida. Did he think for some reason I had moved down? No, because he said I was in Virginia. Did he think I didn't know he lived in Florida? But no, that doesn't matter because he invited me and even if he thought that was the case, he knows that we don't live in the same place. Does he somehow think that I am ridiculously rich and can just fly down there for a quick bite? Do I even know what lunch means? I mean, he needs two people enjoying a meal in the middle of the day, right? Right? This is how the narwhal conspirators get you. That's how they got National Geographic, whose Instagram post today confirmed that they have been fooled by the conspirators or their conspirators themselves. Ugh, this is what makes narwhal detective work so difficult. You can never tell who's spreading the rumors and who's just already been fooled. It's almost impossible to tell the difference. So anyway, it turns out my friend just meant he wanted to set up a phone call to catch up on life and stuff. Which, in my mind, begs the question, why did he call it lunch? But the thing is, I don't think he was trying to confuse me. I mean, whatever crazy scenario is playing out in my head can just be explained by a much simpler explanation. That, obviously, whatever circles he's in, it's just very common to refer to your midday phone call as lunch. But it was kind of an uncomfortable feeling that something so basic could be interpreted in such different ways. Like if someone came down here and started demanding that this was the color green when it is obviously the color red to the point where I was like questioning it like this this is this is red, right? It is red. Anyway, as you can tell, it was a very stressful couple of minutes there. We rescheduled lunch. So Ben, my question for you and everybody else is, have you ever had to question your own knowledge about something when you knew for a fact were looking at the answer that you were correct and yet you were unsure? Let me know down in the towel section below and I will see you in another life, brother. These socks are amazing. And on that note, for whatever side of the R Narwhal's real debate you are on, let me just ask you this. Are you sure? Are you sure? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and like this video. Every time you like a Super Carlin Brothers video, an imaginary narwhal gets its horn. Maybe.